I describe the scale Bregman theorem, work which is presented at NIPS 2016 with an extended version on archive. Recall Taylor's theorem. For a differentiable function phi, we can express phi of x in terms of phi of y at a different point and a term based on its gradient. Focusing on the residual, we can re-express all the other terms in terms of this residual. This is the Bregman distortion. However, when phi is not convex, this residual can be positive, negative or zero. When phi is convex, we have many many nice properties, including the triangle equality, dual symmetry with respect to the convex conjugate, and the population minimizer being the expected value. Our main theorem expands this toolbox. For any convex function phi and any differentiable function g, let us define a new generator phi brief in terms of the perspective transform of phi. What happens to the Bregman distortion of phi brief? It turns out that the Bregman divergence between the normalized versions of x and y with respect to the original generator phi is the same as the Bregman distortion of with respect to the new generator phi brief. This is true if and only if g is affine or phi is positive homogeneous of degree 1. In our paper, we briefly touch on three applications. We show that multiple density ratio estimation is the same as multi-class supervised learning. We prove a new bound on norm-controlled online learning. And we show how to apply k-means++ seeding on curved manifolds while keeping the global approximation bounds of flat manifolds. In summary, our scaled Bregman theorem provides a new hammer in the toolbox for working with Bregman divergences. Thank you.